guys welcome to my new video and in this video i'm going to discuss a short topic which is called multipath feeding so this uh, this topic is generally used in telecommunication applications and uh, it it is uh, depicted in this in this picture so at transmit transmitting end which is a mobile phone the signal are transmitted uh, to the receiver which is uh, which is called base trans receiver station is trans receiver station and uh, and what happens is uh, there are large buildings so the signal which is transmitted by the transmitter are reflected from these buildings and uh, these are received by the receiver after uh, after after some delay so the reflected signals are delayed as compared to the direct path signals and this arrives at a, at the receiver later than the direct signal so this causes a fluctuation in the amplitude and phase of the combined signal at the receiver so uh, now there are two signals the one is direct path and uh, direct signal and second is the reflected signal so there are fluctuations at the receiver side so uh, this is what is a multipath fading so in order, order to reduce this we use digital equalizer at the receiver side so so a known sequence Uh, which is of 26 bit long is transmitted at regular interval from the transmitter so uh, because of this uh, the receiver gets an idea uh, of the of, of how the, the digital fil filter should be so it, it it gets the coefficient of the digital filter and to estimate the characteristics of radio path so the the radio path which is being passed so uh, by using this it gets an idea of transfer function and uh, enable the receiver to determine the most likely transmitted bit sequence so uh, hence it is uh, it is very use it, it gives an idea the 26 bit gives an idea of how the environment is and accordingly it uh, demodulates the signal so th that is what multipath fading is so thanks for watching guys and do subscribe